Today was to be a soft opening, but the Save-A-Lot store is closed in Inglewood after some protested the opening in what had been a Whole Foods store. Instead, today staff was giving away some of the perishable items. Now they put something in the neighborhood that we can afford and they're trying to stop it from opening. It said that it's not opening because I live like um, half a block away. I can walk right over here, pick up essentials. Last night, a rally of discontented residents led to the change of plan for the opening, sharing concerns about the quality of items a Save-A-Lot would offer. When people think of Save-A-Lot, they quench. And so when that banner went up, People were up in arms. Joe Canfield is CEO of Yellow Banana, which operates several Save-A-Lot stores in our area. Canfield says they delayed the opening to have more discussions in the community. And he explains he and his partners took over the stores a year and a half ago, and they are working to bring up the standards and image. It takes time, um, and that's why we're so excited about an Inglewood open, as we can say, give us a chance to get through this process and you're going to have something very similar to what you see in Inglewood in your community. Some residents in the Auburn Gresham area have been having similar discussions about a save a lot to open on 79th Street. The director of special initiatives for the Greater Auburn Gresham Development Corporation hopes the community's voice will be heard. We're not necessarily um, that we're trying to shut it down, but that we're trying to get what we want and what we need and what we deserve. Alderwoman Stephanie Coleman tells ABC7 she is setting up a meeting with the leadership of Yellow Banana, but as for an opening date of the Inglewood store, it's unclear. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.